What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we're doing something very exciting. We are playing a champion that was actually sub uh, suggested, sorry, that was actually suggested by three of our subscribers, Jantry, Aegis, Michael Harry, and Bella Tran. I hope I pronounced your guys' names right. I'm sorry, I'm really terrible at pronouncing names. Uh, so yeah, I apologize if I just became the destroyer of an all names. Um, then yeah, sorry. But today we are playing something very exciting and that is Severe. And uh, yeah, you guys really want to see it, so here it is. Uh, Severe is a really, really fun ADC to play. It's actually a champion that uh, that I personally wouldn't mind, rec uh, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, re recommending for somebody just getting into League of Legends because Severe is a fairly, I would say fairly easy champ to get into. However, it's a champ that you can use all the way up to Challenger. Like you still see pros who are using this champion. So for that reason, even if you're a mediocre or very experienced player and haven't played Severe, then I would strongly recommend you guys to do so. Um, she is a great champion. She has insanely good wave clear. This is one of the reasons why she's a great champion for new new players. But she also has a, a toolkit that makes her very consistent, or at least very easy uh, to uh, to stay consistent with. Um, not saying that the champ as such are easy, but yeah, I guess you guys kind of understand what I mean. Uh, her kit, especially her shield, we'll get into how that one works for the newer players. But probably uh, the more experienced players know somewhat or somewhat have an idea of how her kit works or at least what she can do. Uh, and it's, the shield is going to be a big part of uh, of her in terms of like higher elos because it really is going to allow you to uh, to do well even against comps that you might struggle with against other um, with other ADCs. Uh, but yeah, Severe is a great champion because she has insanely good wave clear this is great for new players because that makes it easier for you guys to get some gold by uh yeah through farm and also she has a really really nice damage kit so she, she does aoe damage to champions uh and she's yeah she's good in in early mid and late game so just overall a really nice champ and the extra gold from farm since she's easy to farm with is really going to be able to help most of you guys out so it's something you really, really want to... Whoop, see if we can get this. We did get some nice damage in there, so I'll take it. Actually, at level 2, pretty often, you are going to want to take uh, Severe's Spell Shield, the E instead of W. Uh, it's just an old habit for me, clicking W on other champs. Um, but right here, for most of it, it can pretty often be better for you to take the shield. Anyway... Um, that aside, just to sum up real quick, this is a great champion for anyone who haven't played Severe and is into the ADC role, or just anybody just getting into the game. I would say if I if I should like pick another ADC that feels somewhat similar to Severe, then it is Ash. Like this Severe kind of feels like a reverse Ash. Like instead of slowing her targets, Severe gains movement speed herself, which is really really good. It it like in that way severe can really do something in uh in terms of punishing people because if they're a little bit out of position and uh and you use your spells right then you can actually surprise them by using uh your mobility to get close really really quickly uh but yeah let's talk a little bit about how the different spells work and why she is so freaking good um, her first spell is her passive, and this is most commonly the kind of spells that people don't really know what do or what can do. Um, so we'll start with that one. And um, Severe's passive is called Fleet of Foot, and Fleet of Foot is fairly simple. What this thing can do is that it uh, it allows you to gain movement speed, or it gives you movement speed every time that you hit a champion. Emphasis on you have to hit champions. Uh, every time you hit a champion with a basic attack with your ricochet or your boomerang. So it's either your basic attacks, your Q or your W. If either of these things hit a champion, then Severe gains some movement speed. And this is really, really good. I promise you guys, this is something you really want to... Oh, let's see if we can do something here. 
Get some good damage in there. Gonna back out. Pop or biscuit. And it's something you really wanna wanna keep in mind. Cause this movement speed, uh like I'll get kind of into the nitty-gritty of how you can take advantage of this, even if you're out of range. Uh, for your basic attacks, like how can you get movement speed and how can you initialize a fight uh, doing so? But as an ADC, you always, if you can, you always kind of want to want to let your your support uh, start the fights. Uh, that's ideally what you want to do. All right, we need to get out of here. Ooh, whoop. To be a little careful here. I'm not going to go too deep in because I honestly don't want to die. We're not going to be able to back that up at all. Also kind of boom. Okay, m maybe I should have backed up there. M a little unsure. Uh, I felt like that was kind of too greedy going for. And I feel like there's too big of a risk, especially because we were Ohm. Um, so we kind of had to use our shield in order to get mana. We'll get into how the shield works. But just for anyone experienced out there sitting like, why didn't you? Yeah, I know. Like these games are not made to show you the perfect gameplay. They're made to showcase. Like it's a showcase of the champion explaining how it works, what you can do, what you need to think about. Uh, it's in no way perfect place and i am playing this live i had a couple of comments uh actually asking like or saying hey this is fake man he's not really playing um i flipped the camera and that's why i have this hand free this is my keyboard hand and this is my mouse hand uh so for anyone wondering i, I am actually playing this live um but yeah uh, fleet food work or fleet of food not fl fleet food work that is a rune fleet of food um is your passive super nice it gives you movement speed whenever you hit something with basic attacks or uh yeah or your q or w your q is probably the spell that most people know uh it's the probably most iconic thing about severe and uh that is her boomerang and it's it's an awesome spell like it it feels so good um this one is uh, a big part of uh of severe's um what do you say skill cap or not skill cap but like it's it's a big part of where you can see the difference between a good severe and a decent one um her passive is really really or her her boomerang is really cool because uh, you can throw this boomerang pretty far and it deals damage both as it comes like as it goes in one direction as an as as it comes back to you um, so this is something you really want to think about. The thing is that when you throw your boomerang, then it does less damage if it hits non-champions on the way. So if I throw it here, hitting these minions and then hitting the champion behind it, then the champion is going to take up to 60% less damage from the boomerang than he or she would otherwise. So this is something you really want to think about. Um, this means that ideally you always want to try to um to use your your Q such that you don't hit like you don't hit any minions on the way um this is of course not always possible so instead you also gotta know that your boomerang the number of minion or, or the decreased damage is reset on the way back meaning if i hit whoop see if we can get some damage in there I'm going to need to pop my ult as a safety precaution. That might actually... They, they didn't seem like they uh, went all in. They could have. Okay, we need to be aware of Pike. There we go. Alright, so I kind of want to take a chill here. Because I don't really know what they're trying to do. I don't know where their jungler is at this point. We could consider back. Anyway, your boomerang... Um, the damage that is decreased... Uh, is reset as it goes back. So imagine that uh, we hit a champion over here. So if I throw my Q, then it deals less damage on the way out. But as it goes back again, then it's going to deal full damage. Um, so yeah, if you're not able to uh, avoid hitting minions, then at least make sure that you hit it at max range, meaning that it re it goes back just as... Uh, just as... Ooh. Let's get out of this. Um, such that it, it goes back so just as it hits uh, the champion. That's ideally what you want to do. A really nice thing with the boomerang 
is that you want to try or at least you can try and take advantage of bushes bushes are really useful because it's gonna remove vision from you so your enemy is not going to be knowing when or where you're going to throw your q so if you can use these bushes um in order to throw your q and kind of surprise them then that's really really good you can also do flash plays uh what i mean with flash plays with the q is the most common one is uh i think we're gonna back here the most common one is that you're gonna throw your q I'll, I'll see if I can uh, kind of showcase it without using my flash and we'll see if we need it later in the game. Um, let's see if I can sh like kind of illustrate. Um, so imagine that you want to hit um, some guy right here. So you throw your Q, he moves over here. Then you can just flash over here and it's going to come back to you and hit him because it's going to uh, adapt to the to where you are. So the direction is going to change. Uh, so it's something you can use, but it is very, very situational. Um, but it's really, really cool. But yeah, ideally with the boomerang, you always want to try and optimize the damage by hitting the champions and not minions on the way. Uh, of course, it doesn't matter if you hit the champion first and then the minions, because the decrease of damage is, is first going to hit afterwards, like after it hits the minions. Uh, but that way, if it doesn't kill the minions on the way out, then as it resets and goes back, it's going to have decreased damage on the way back. So yeah, ideally don't hit minions unless you don't have another option. Uh, or if you just kind of want to shove and keep pushing, you can also do that. Um, but yeah, just know that for optimal damage, you want to just hit the champions. But the cool thing is that hitting several champions with your Q does not decrease the damage of the Q. So everybody, as long as they're champions, they take full damage from your boomerang. Like imagine if you have all five enemy champions line up right here and you throw your Q, then it hits all of them for the same amount of damage, each, each single one of them. It's not decreased on any of them. All right. Um, but that's kind of your Q. It's a very cool spell, actually pretty fairly simple, but it's think about how you use it. Try and kind of uh, uh, surprise your enemy with it. Use the bushes for your, to your advantage, such that they don't really know when or if the uh, the boomerang is coming. All right, next up is our ricochet, and ricochet is actually the reason why uh, Severe has such a good, good wave clear. Like she would have good wave clear with her Q. But Ricochet just makes everything better. <laughs> um, that's kind of what it can do. Um, Ricochet enables Severe to uh, have these things that, that jump or that her weapon that jumps between. See this damage. Oh. We are going to be able to get that. There we go. Nice. Very nice. That I saw Panthen coming down, so I didn't want to go under the turret. Uh, I felt like he had it. There we go, and we're gonna be able to just push this turret out. But Ricochet enables uh, Severe to uh, to throw her weapon such that it, uh, it jumps between targets. And the cool thing is that it jumps between infinite targets. What I mean with this is that as long as the targets are in like close enough proximity to each other, then it's gonna keep jumping to the next target, but it's only gonna hit each target once. Um, so basically, to illustrate, we can just do it right on these minions. You can see it just goes all the way back to the back line. Um, this happens uh, for severe basic attacks. So whenever she pops her W, her ricochet, um, then she gets this buff. You can see it right here that on her next three basic attacks, her attacks jump to every uh, target that is close enough. Oh, oh, I should have backed. I might actually just die here or not. All right, I need to be careful. I need to stay behind this guy. Oh, sweet. Good job. All right, now I'll back. Um, but yeah, it's going to jump to all the targets uh, that are in close enough proximity. It's super simple. It deals a good chunk of damage. It deals more and more damage as you get uh, later into the game and get higher level. But yeah, just know that that's kind of what it does. Um, there's not too much depth to it. You're really going to be using it mostly to... Uh, to push your wave which is really it's really really good for that we could actually go i think we'll go top no wait we need this drake uh coming for drake um but you're really going to be using this to uh to push your lanes and every time you're trying to use it such that every time the 
enemy champion is close enough to his minions then throw it out there because you're also going to deal some damage to him even if he's out of range uh, of your own basic attacks um so it's a cool thing also you can use it to initialize fights um for yourself i have no clue why i just clicked my e there it was actually a misclick um you can use it to initialize fights. Let's. I'll try and illustrate here without champions. So if I hit, uh, let's say, this minion with my W, it would hit a champion all the way back here, even though I'm far out of range. And as you guys remember, then our passive uh, uh, fleet of foot is going to give us movement speed each time that we deal damage to a champion with boomerang or ricochet. So if we hit with this one or just uses ricochet on minions, it jumps to a a champion then we're gonna get movement speed and then we can just start running to them because we run faster than they do so it's a nice way of actually uh, closing the gap between you uh, and your enemy so just know that you can really use your ricochet to gain this movement speed um so yeah it's a cool cool thing cool little thing you can do uh but that's or w pretty simple or next spell is, is called spell shield and this one um is a big part of why severe is such a good consistent choice um it gives her an insane amount of uh whoop an insane amount of uh of like consistency in lane and uh what do you say like perseverance because the thing with her spell shield is first of all it allows her to uh, oh kind of walk free from anything just like that uh so pike coming in there trying to uh to just grab me it, it lets us kind of go free from all of that i'm kind of zone out here i'm gonna use my old should be nice all right let's push it's gonna allow us to kind of be like hey i screwed up uh, so let me pop my shield like you can see pike cut close to me there I can just pop my spell shield in order to not get get uh, CC'd or grabbed um, This is really good against champions like blitzcrank. So if you guys really struggle against blitzcrank, yeah, just choose severe. Oh See you right here we can do something There we go and yeah, remember that using your uh, attacks to gain movement speed, by the way, um, then using your attacks to gain movement speed when fighting and kiting, it's it's really it's really hard to catch the severe due to uh, the movement speed she gets from attacking. So if you're good at kiting, then uh, yeah, then you're really going to be able to uh, do pretty well. Needs to be a little careful here. Oh. All right, we're going to be able to survive that, luckily. It was really close. Um, but yeah, your spell shield, let me just break it down because I kind of forgot that. Uh, all your spell sh Oh, whoop. Okay, that was uh, creepy. <laughs> all your spell shield, I could actually have e that one, but fair enough. Um, I, I, yeah. Anyway, all your spell shield does is that uh, it allows you to... Uh, well, let's get this. It allows you to uh, to deny any kind of ability on you. So if somebody's about to throw a stun or something, then you're just going to deny it. Also, your spell shield gives you mana back whenever you you do deny a an ability. So uh, as an example, imagine that you're playing against the Blitzcrank and he grabs you. Then if you click this one just as the grab is about to hit, then you're going to get mana back and the grab is not going to go through. So he's not going to be able to grab you. So it just denies it. Um, super nice and super simple. As you guys might imagine, then since this one gives a huge chunk of mana back, then it's something you want to be using pretty freak Ooh. pretty frequently in... Uh we need something to take that guy down. This is a problem. <laughs> that, that guy is a huge ass problem. God dang. That guy's tanky. Oop. Uh, I sh actually missed my uh, Q there. Woo. 
Oh, let's go, Vlad. Good job, man. All right, let's back up. Uh, all right, wait, we could actually push now. Let's push. I need to be a little careful of uh, Jin's ult. Oh. That's kind of sad. <laughs> okay. Anyway, your spell shield, super cool spell. Um, just to summing it up real quick, all it does is that it, uh, it allows you to deny anything and everything by clicking it just as you're about to get hit by it. It gives you mana back. That's really going to help you in laning phase. Pretty often you want to use it um, for like if you're Oom, then just kind of faking like let let them throw something on you and deny it get mana back and then you can start throwing down your ults or your your damage spells again uh, or abilities it's a really big part of uh of severe because like especially on lower ratings they're really really going to throw every time you kind of overstep they're going to throw all their shit at you and if they if that's how they play then it's just free mana just take it back you're not going to take damage uh if you deny it so just make sure that you don't overextend too much and just yeah use it for as as a, a really nice way of just getting mana back and then you can start just spamming your abilities like a madman uh, but that is your spell shield that's your e it's all in dos and it is a big part of what makes Severe so freaking good. Because it makes her so consistent. It allows her to stay very long in lane um, without backing. Unless she has to. Or unless you're really far ahead or whatever. You can just do it. But like, just because she never really goes zoom. You can spam abilities as long as your enemies are somewhat uh brainless <laughs> and just spams their spells at you if you're in ra range uh, i kind of need to defend this turret all right lastly there is our old and i'm sorry this is taking me so long to explain i'll try in the ne next couple of videos see if i can do things a little quicker but it's also because i'm trying to kind of fill in the usage of the different abilities um, while I'm explaining them. So if you guys rather have me explain the abilities really quickly and then go into um, how to use them, then tell me in the comment section. I'll try and do that in the next couple of videos if you prefer that. Otherwise, I'll keep this up. Um, but yeah, our next ability is our old, and our old is called On the Hunt. And On the Hunt is uh, really nice. It's a fun spell. It's a really, really fun spell. It uh, Whenever you activate On the Hunt, then it gives you and your teammates teammates a huge um a huge movement speed uh boost for a brief moment for i think it's six seconds or something ah three seconds no eight seconds yeah it was close i thought it was like six seconds it's eight um so yeah and the movement speed the how much it uh it increases the movement speed is slowly decaying or decaying over time um so yeah just know that it just gives you movement speed and anybody close to you even if your your teammate is not within range if you're old then if they come in range while the duration is still up then they just gain when whatever movement speed that severe has that what that's what they're gonna have as well so it's a cool thing you can pop it even if you're not in range of them as soon as you are in range they're gonna get that that boost um, also, your ult has a passive side of it, and this is really the part that you really need to know. Um, the passive part of the on the hunt is that it gives you a huge, I'm saying, it's giving you a huge um, attack speed boost whenever you have your W up. So whenever you pop your ricochet, then you get, I think it's up to 70% at max rank. This can, of course, get, like be nerfed and buffed and whatever. But it gives you a huge movement speed. At this rank, it gives us 45%, uh, which is kind of insane. So it's something like whenever you do play severe, then whenever you want to optimize your damage, then pop your W early. Because popping it is going to give you that attack speed. You don't want to be holding on to that attack speed. There's a very short cooldown on your W anyway. Like we have 4.8 4 seconds cooldown. And like literally we can hold on to this one like it's it's just it's so good so pop this fairly early uh it is really going to help out with your damage um but yeah that's all it does super simple your ult activate to give movement speed it's passive whenever you pop your w then you get attack speed so pop your ricochet always even if there's only one target 
because it is going to optimize your damage. All right, we're going to pop our ult here because we're probably going to be chasing people down. Going to use my heal. Just going to see. We need something to... We need a mortal reminder against this guy, so that's going to be our next item. But uh, get that guy down and start pushing. Should be a pretty free kill. All right, so that's kind of all Severe does. Uh, Severe is insane because the, the amount of damage he can push out is really, really... Oh, freaking good. Um, I hate Timo's <laughs> mushrooms. Oh, God. Um, the amount of damage he can push out and her push pitch potential is just absolutely ridiculous. And that's one of the reasons why she's used even at high elos. Like, she is such a consistent champ to play. Uh, and a cool thing, at least in my opinion, and that's how I feel, I don't play Severe a lot. But I don't think I've ever been like, oh, well, I, like, I'm having a bad game on Severe. Or, like, I like from the very start of picking up Severe, I feel like you always, you're always going to be doing pretty well. She's not a bad champion in any way. And she's fairly easy to pick up because her mechanics are not that hard. Um, so she lets you focus on the macro game. She lets you focus on the map and like playing the map and playing your team instead of focusing on doing hard uh, champion mechanics. She's just really, really good and uh, and a really consistent champ to play. We need to be a little careful here. I need to get up behind my team here if possible. Oh, I have a terrible position right here. I'm a little unsure whether or not I can beat this guy up. That was a terrible play. I'm going to be dead. There's no point for me to flash there. That I, I don't know why I did that. That was really, really freaking terrible by me. Anyway, she's a really consistent champion. She has nice, nice damage on single targets. She has insane damage on several targets. So if the enemy team is grouped up, like... Your ricochet's gonna hit them all, and that's really gonna shred a team apart. Your Q can hit them all. You have your shield for whenever you mess up. You have your all to activate to either catch somebody or pick somebody up that's out of position, or to chase people down. Uh, it, it's just insane, and you can use it for kiting as well. Remember, on the hunt, it's just like it gives you movement speed. If somebody's trying to get to you, just pop it and just kite them. You're gonna be able to run faster than they are, so they have. Like, that's the thing with Severe. They have to have pretty much two crowd controls in order to catch you. Because first of all, they gotta make you use your spell shield. Second, they gotta... They gotta hit you uh, while you're running pretty freaking fast. Alright, so let's try and focus on the game. Try and play a little bit better than we've been doing so far. As I've t told you guys, this is not... Uh, these games are not made to show you guys perfect gameplay. It's just kind of made to uh, to give you guys a showcase of the champion. So, uh, but she is a really, really fun champion. I'm not going to lie. She really is. Even though it's not a champion I play uh, very often. She's just, yeah. If you want to climb and uh, you're in lower elos, you're definitely going to be climbing at least one division, in my opinion. I would believe so uh, with her pretty easily. Um, just because she allows you to get a farm really easily. And it's, she allows you, we need a uh, Mortal Reminder. Uh, by the way, for those of you wondering, the reason why I'm buying Mortal Reminder, and we should have done this a little earlier, is that we need this Executioner's Calling. This one gives us Grievous Wounds. And for those of you who don't know what Grievous Wounds can do, is that it decreases uh, healing on targets. So if they have like a life stealing or healing like Dr. Mundo has, uh, then he's going to heal less, which is really ideal for us. And uh, the second part of it is that we want this last whisper that's going to give us some armor penetration, which is going to allow us to go through uh, this guy's armor. So, yeah, it's kind of it. That's the reason why we're going for that item now. And we could have considered going for it a little sooner, but this is fine. And you can see he just, like, his healing now is uh, uh, a lot less. I do have my ult, but I don't really want to use it because I don't feel like it's necessary. We'll get him nevertheless. There was kind of no way he was going to get out of there. So uh, I was just kind of hanging on to it. Because there's a good chance that we're going to get into a bigger fight in a moment. 
All right, so I'm going to be ready with my heal. I might need it on our jungler here. She is very low. I'm actually just going to pop it right there. That's a safety precaution. Going to use my key, uh, my ult so that I can go over here. Hopefully help out. All right, they got that guy down sooner. Let's see if we can finish this off. Or Vladimir has been doing pretty decently, I think. So should be able to uh, do this. Oh. All right, they used pretty much all of their summoners right there. We have the Baron buff. Pike is coming in here, and he is going to miss. He's grabbed. <laughs> All right, so right here, we should actually just be pushing. My team kind of want to back. I do feel like I can get this turret down. All right, we need to be careful. Pike is here again. If he has old back pretty soon, I need to be careful. Uh, I think we'll back. We'll back and uh, group up. We can get our model reminder. That's really going to help us th shred through that Dr. Mundo. Because he's really hard at the moment for a team to take down. Or Vladimir is super fed. We are also doing pretty decently. Uh, but yeah. Severe is not a champ that I play super often. But it's a champ that even though I don't. It's like you can pick this champion up. And you're just going to be doing. Yeah. Like you're, you're going to be doing pretty well with her. It's almost going to be like, well, like you've mained her for years. Not saying that you cannot improve with her. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's just like where you start on this champion, like skill wise, it's just, yeah. She's just so freaking good. All right. Need to be a little careful here. Gonna pop my old. It should allow us to uh, pick somebody up. There we go. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Need to be careful that we don't mess up and... Uh, Jump into one of the... Uh... Oh, I'm so scared. Team of Mushrooms. We could probably push and hip and then go Drake. But sure, let's go for this. I would have liked to do the other thing. Or to just go and hip first. Because our Baron buff is uh, slowly running out. And we're not really gaining too much from it. We should be able to wrap up this game pretty... Like, pretty easy. Ooh. Whoop. I'm just going to try and see if I can... Oh, come on. All right, we did get that one. Did get the uh, Guardian Angel, but we did overextend. I tried to kite as much as I could there. Could have popped my ult. Probably should have. But this is still going to be worth it. They took a lot of damage. Not saying that fight was, uh, was, uh, was my success story, but... We have some split push here. They're three down. They did punish them, and... Uh, yeah, I feel like it's hard to say it's worth it because kind of wasn't, but it ended up being it because my team punished them. Um, so super nice. I feel like we are going to be able to wrap this game up in a moment. Hopefully, as I come back, we're going to be able to push up the last of it and uh, kind of just take them out. So yeah, by the way, if any of you guys have a champion or something that you really want me to play, just make sure you tell me. I do prioritize whatever you guys tell me. I have several champs that I'm working on, uh, but I am a really, really busy man and I'm trying to, uh, to do both full-time work and YouTube as much as I possibly can. And I was just sick for a week as well, so I apologize for not uploading as much. Um, but yeah, let's go down here, finish this game off. And if you guys have any suggestions or any comments or any tips that I didn't cover in this video of how to play Severe or something that, uh, that you feel like I didn't elaborate enough, feel free to tell me. It really, It's really nice. I'm going to pop my ult. We need to go get there. If we can get there before uh, so I can save that guy. So we are going to do a good chunk of damage onto him. And always remember, popping your ricochet, it does give you that that uh, extra attack damage. You can see at this point, 60% attack speed while having ricochet up. Uh, it's like you shit, literally just shred people apart. It's so fun. It's so freaking fun. All right, there we go. Let's go wrap this game up. See if we can. And also try and evaluate for yourself what you really uh, need to be careful of. You can get this guy because we have more movement speed. And we're just going to wave clear this. 
Oh god, it's it feels so fun to play severe sometimes. Uh, and remember, pop your ricochet, ricochet for uh, minions or uh, for towers, because it's still going to give you that attack speed boost. So just popping it makes your attack faster, which is going to allow you to take down objectives faster. So use it on Drakes, use it on Baron, use it on towers, use it on inhibitors, use it on freaking everything. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, I hope this kind of showcased how to play uh, Severe, what this champion kind of is and what she can do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's not a champion that I personally play a lot, but it is a champion that I have in my toolkit for whenever I'm uh, uh, against something that I don't feel very comfortable against. Like, it's something like Blitzcrank uh, can from time to time annoy everybody, so taking Severe is really going to make him tilt. Especially if you're playing it with a Magana, then you have double shield. That's really fun. Um, but she works pretty well in almost any good team composition. She is a very strong uh, ADC and a very fun one. Um, and it's really... A, I'm, I cannot emphasize this enough. If you're a newer player, she's really going to help you. Because um, she's going to allow you to get a lot more gold from minions. Because you are going to have an easy time farming with a Ricochet a boomerang and keeping mana up with your shield. Um, and at lower ratings, people are not really that good at farming. So if you can get just 14 farm, then you're gonna be equal to one kill ahead because 14, um, 14 minions is more or less 300 gold. And that's the same as you get from a kill. So I cannot emphasize it enough. At lower elos, this is especially gonna be a very good pick for you. Uh, and at higher ratings, it's just, it's a great champion. Not gonna lie, it really is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a thing or two about Severe. Uh, if you did, then make sure to smash that like button. It really, really, really uh, does help me out a lot. It makes sure that this video comes out to as many people as humanly possible. Um, and yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you are not already, then make sure to subscribe down below. Uh, it's it's a really nice thing to do. It's insane to see that we've grown with almost, I think, 1,500 subs within the last month, which is completely mind-blowing to me. But yeah, I still see that about 98% of you guys are not subscribed. So guys, come on, click the button. <laughs> it, it, it's really going to help me out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's going to make sure that every time I put out new content, you guys are... You're gonna have a chance to see it uh because i do try to put out as much content as i possibly can and if you guys have any comments on how you would like it to become better or if there's something i need to explain that you don't understand or something i that yeah you just want to see make sure to tell me i really do listen i try to go through as many of the comments as i can i actually have like i think 300 comments in the back of my head that I need to respond to. I do try to respond to everyone, but I've just been sick for a week. So I'm like, I'm a lot of comments behind, but I am catching up. So if your comment haven't been responded yet, don't worry, I'll respond. I always do. I'm just trying to catch up. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.